Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to the Grounded Update video where today we're going to be talking about five things you guys are definitely going to want to get back into the game and start grinding out and getting ready so you guys are have everything that you might need for Grounded Update 10.0. Now in this update they have promised all sorts of cool things but more than anything else I want to talk about the first thing I think you guys need to prep and that is gas masks. They have talked about going through through and updating the entire um, haze biome including giving us the haze lab and I do believe all that is going to be full of the haze of the gas of the thing that kills you as soon as you walk into it so what I have pointed out for you guys today is to make a bunch of gas masks. Now, I may have gone a little overboard when I was prepping for this video. I don't really think you guys need nine gas masks unless you have a bunch of people playing with you. If you have a bunch of people that are going to be joining into the game with you and playing multiplayer while you are exploring the haze, this is a good idea. Now, why make multiple gas masks and instead of just making one? It's going to be okay because while you are in the haze, your gas mask is going to take damage. It's going to slowly lose durability as you are over there, especially if you're playing in something like woe mode or medium mode. You are going to lose a lot more of your gas mask's durability a lot quicker. So I would say go ahead and make multiple of these guys. Yes, you can repair them. Should you go out and get the items to repair them? You can. But gas masks aren't that hard. Weevils aren't that hard to find. So I tend to just go out and get a bunch of them. If you guys need a little bit of a reminder, gas masks are made with one weevil nose, some gnat fuzz, crude rope, and a stink bug part. Now, I had a bunch of uh, stink bug parts near me. So that's why I just went and made up a whole bunch of them right here for the video. But I did make too many. I would say three per person is probably what's going to get you guys through. So I would make yourself three gas masks on your way through. Now, along with making gas masks, I'm just going to tell you guys, make some torches. I know you guys think that the Firefly headlamp is probably the best thing to use. That is good for exploration, but make some torches because you're going to need that gas mask on while you are exploring. I would love if the developers made it so you can wear a mask item and a helmet item. That would be really cool. But for right now, you have to make some torches. That way you guys can be able to see everything in all the different areas you're going to be in. It's also helpful to make a couple bubble helms or gill tubes because there are going to be some underwater aspects in this next update. Okay, let's talk about the next thing. The next thing is getting lots of building materials you guys can see as i've been walking around here i have all sorts of building materials here um i am doing this because they have promised us some pretty cool building in the next update they have talked about giving us um all sorts of new things for building uh like opposite side structures so you'll be able to build instead of spiral staircases only going one way they'll now go the other way as well so you can have a really cool entrance into your base um flipping around things like ladders flipping around things like um uh the these uh, railings and all of that so a lot of building materials are going to be needed as well as adding additional building types to the game there's more curved walls here i just went ahead and pulled up the actual developer screen for you guys to show you guys the developer letter that they sent out and it says right here flipped buildings and more building pieces look at how cool this looks here we're getting these cool columns that are right here curved walls more roofing variants to give us some sort of maybe like an awning and such so lots Lots of really cool things coming guys lots of really cool things coming okay the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about I just have to scroll down just a little bit right here is getting yourself a lot of storage medium for new food they are putting giant food items like the Billy hogs archer cookies apples all over the backyard now it's not gonna only be in one or two places they're gonna be all over the place so with your tier 2x you'll be able to go out and harvest way more of these uh, for yourself so having a bunch more storage in order to have all of the all these new food items now warning for you keep these food items up keep the chest up build it up find a place in your base where you can put it high that's what i mean two or three levels above ground level otherwise the ants in the backyard will come and come looking for your food and they will break into your house and take the food out of your chests which is always a a big old pain in the butt whenever they do anything like that okay the next thing this one's kind of uh 
uh, just a cautionary, I would say. Uh, I think that the next thing everybody should start going around and start prepping up and getting a bunch of stuff done is uh, healing items and smoothies um, because there is going to be some new bugs added. They've talked about some new things being added um, and with being in the haze a lot, there's always a chance that all those little haze bugs are going to come and get you. So getting up the healing items here and also smoothies is really important. Another reason why I point out that you should go and make some smoothies is because they have changed the smoothies like three or four times now, um, different recipes, different things. So go out, grind out, get yourself some smoothies right now. Uh, because they have made it so you have to go and grind out a lot of things now and making it so it's kind of a pain in the butt um, to make smoothies. So if you go out and you get everything to make a bunch of smoothies now and you make them and you have them in your inventory, you will be prepped up and ready because smoothies are the fastest thing to heal yourself with in the backyard and in grounded as a whole. Now, the last thing I want to talk to you guys about, this one's kind of like a given, but I just want to make sure that every Everybody is prepped up in their main game for the update that's coming to the game. And that is go through and complete all of the story that has happened so far. That doesn't mean, you know, oh, well, I'm just going to leave the the water base because I'm not sure where that lands. No, go through and knock out all of the story that's happened so far. Make sure that you have all of the building mater materials and everything like that. Get all of the logs. That way you are not confused when the story comes out and when it's updated. I think that everybody should be prepared. That way we can all jump in together in the next update to see all of the new things that they have added. They have talked about this being the biggest update that they have released yet so i would hate for anybody to have to sit there and make some time maybe you guys want to start over i would i would you know i would give it to you if you want to start over that's fantastic that sounds like a great idea and sometimes i start over uh just to see what the game is all about and how the story connects um for myself but if you get yourself to the point where you have everything ready to go and then you hop in and you start the story right from where they left off, or if you do it right now, the June update is coming, right? It's going to be in June. It might be at the end of June. It might be at the beginning of June. They haven't said exactly when the June update's going to come out, but at the end of the day, they are releasing this update in June. So no matter what you do, you will be able to play this new update this month. So let's talk about one last thing that uh, is not one of the five things you should do, but it is something you definitely should do right now. And that is make sure you guys hit that like button for me because I really do appreciate it when you guys do that and it helps out the channel more than you know. Also make sure you guys subscribe and turn your bell notification to all so you never miss any grounded update videos that are coming out from me, especially all of the stuff that's going to be coming out in the public test server and all of that in the very near future. I would love to share that with all of you guys and I'd hate for you to miss it. Also, leave me a comment down below that you watch to the end and I'll make sure that I heart your comment and as always I'll see all of you guys in the next one.